Now for this question, we're given that i equals 16 minus 16 times 0 0.5 to the power t, where t is greater than or equal to 0. And what we've got to do then is find di by dt. Differentiate i, in other words, with respect to t, and find its value when t equals 3, giving our answer in the form natural log of a, where a is a constant. So to do this then, we just need to differentiate i then with respect to t and substitute t equals 3 into our result. Differentiating 16, the constant there, that's going to be 0. But when it comes to differentiating 0.5 to the power t, a constant to this power t, you've got to know a standard result. And that standard result, let's just write it over here, is that if you've got, say, y equals a constant, let's call it a, to the variable x, then it can be shown that dy by dx equals a to the power x multiplied by the natural log of that constant a. As I say, this is a standard result. Do try and learn it, OK? Some formula books have this quoted. If not, and you want to know how to prove this, then just go on my website. There's tutorials on differentiating this type of function, a to the power x. OK, well, on that basis, I know that this is not with respect to x, but with respect to t. So our constant a is the 0 0.5, and the t, well, that equates, if you like, to the variable x. So when it comes to differentiating this term, we're going to have our minus 16 multiplied but then by the differential of 0 0.5 to the power t, which is going to be then 0 0.5 to the power t multiplied by the natural log of 0 0.5. So that's essentially di by dt. Now we want to clean this up, say, um, but you don't make the mistake of saying this is 16 times 0.5, which is 8, and then saying 8 to the power t. It's not. These are two separate identities, basically. So what we've got here is minus 16, then, OK, multiply by, and I'm going to change the 0.5 to a fraction, a half like that, OK? I think you'll find it's easier to work with in this question. And then we've got natural log of a half. So when we substitute t equals 3 into this, when t equals 3, we've got that di by dt equals minus 16 multiplied by a half to the power 3, and then the natural log of a half. So what is a half cubed? Well, a half cubed is 1 over 2 cubed, 1 over 8. And so we've got 1 eighth times 16 is going to be 2. So we have minus 2 natural log a half. So just put that as minus 2 natural log of a half. Now normally that would be a nice answer, say, to leave this as, but we've got to get it just as natural log of a constant. There is no number in the front of that natural log. So we've got this minus 2 here in the front, and we need to find some way of removing it. Well, we can turn to the power rule for logs. You should remember that if you've got a number at the front, a value at the front, then this can go up as a power. OK, so these two are equivalent to one another. The natural log of a half to the power minus 2. Now, when you've got something to the minus 2, that's 1 divided by a half, then all squared. So you're going to get the natural log of 1 divided by a half squared. Well, a half squared is a quarter. One divided by a quarter is four. So you end up with the natural log of four. And you can see this is in this particular form. So there's your answer, the natural log of four. All right?